The Etikaf in the Last Ten Days of Ramadan Narrated Abdullah bin Umar The Etikaf in the Last Ten Days of Ramadan Narrated Abdullah bin Umar Allah's Messenger used to practice Etikaf in the last ten days of the month of Ramadan. Abdullah bin Umar ne kaha ki Rasulullah Ramzan ke akhri asha mein Etikaf karte the. Narrated Asha the Prophet used to practice Etikaf in the last ten days of Ramadan. Till he died and then his wives used to practice Etikaf after him. Nabi Kareem ki zauja mutahira Hazrat Aisha ne kaha ki. Nabi Kareem apni wafat tak barabar Ramzan ke akhri ashe mein Etikaf karte rahe aur ab ke baad ab ki azwaj mutahirat Etikaf karte rahe. Narrated Abu Said Al-Khudri Allah's Messenger used to practice Etikaf in the middle ten days of Ramadan and once he stayed in Etikaf till the night of the twenty-first. And it was the night in the morning of which he used to come out of his Etikaf. The Prophet said, Whoever was in Etikaf with me should stay in Etikaf for the last ten days, for I was informed of the night of Qadr, but I have been caused to forget it. I saw myself prostrating in mud and water in the morning of that night. So, look for it in the last ten nights and in the odd ones of them. It rained that night and the roof of the mosque dribbled as it was made of leaf stalks of date palms. I saw with my own eyes the mark of mud and water on the forehead of the Prophet. Abu Sayyid Khadri ne bayan kiya ke. نبی کریم رمضان کے دوسرے عشرے میں اتکاف کیا کرتے تھے ایک سال اپنے انہی دنوں میں اتکاف کیا اور جب اکیسویں تاریخ کی رات آئی یہ وہ رات ہے جس کی صبح آپ اتکاف سے باہر آ جاتے تھے تو اپنے فرمایا کہ جس نے میرے ساتھ اتکاف کیا ہو وہ اب آخری عشرے میں بھی اتکاف کرے مجھے یہ رات خواب میں دکھائی گئی لیکن پھر بھلا دی گئی میں نے یہ بھی دیکھا کہ اسی کی صبح کو میں کیچڑ میں سجدہ کر رہا ہوں اس لیے تم لوگ اسے آخری اشرا کی تاک رات میں تلاش کرو چنانچہ اسی رات بارش ہوئی مسجد کی چھچوں کے کھجور کی شاخ سے بنی تھی اس لیے ٹپکنے لگی اور خود میں نے اپنی آنکھوں سے دیکھا کہ اکیسویں کی صبح کو رسول اللہ کی پیشانی مبارک پر کیچڑ لگی ہوئی تھی امینسٹرویٹنگ وومن از پرمیٹڈ ٹو کوم دا ہیئر آف اے مین ان ایتیکاف نیریٹڈ ایشا دا پروفٹ یوزڈ ٹو بینڈ ہز ہیڈ ٹو می وائن He was in Etikaf in the mosque during my monthly periods and I would comb and oil his hair. Aisha ne bayan kiya ke Nabi masjid mein mutakif hote aur sar mubarak meri taraf jhuka dete. Phir main isme kangha kar deti. Halanki main is waqt hai se hua karti thi. Mutakif not to enter the house except for a need. Narrated Aisha. Allah's messenger used to let his head in while he was in the mosque. and i would comb and all his hair when in etikaf he used not to enter the house except for a need aisha ne bayan kiya a hazrat masjid se etikaf ki halat mein sar mubarak meri taraf hujra ke andar kar dete aur main isme kandha kar deti huzur jab mutakif hote to bila hajat ghar mein tashreef nahi late the the taking of a bath by a mutakif narrated aisha The Prophet used to embrace me during my menses. He also used to put his head out of the mosque while he was in Etikaf, and I would wash it during my menses. Aisha ne bayan kiya ke, Main haiza hoti phir bhi Rasulullah mujhe apne badan se laga lete. Aur ap mutakif hote aur main haiza hoti. Iske baavjood ap sar mubarak bahar kar dete aur main usse dhoti thi. The Etikaf at Night Narrated Ibn Umar Umar asked the Prophet I vowed in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance to stay in Etikaf for one night in Al-Masjid Al-Haram. The Prophet said to him, Fulfill your vow. Ibn Umar ne bayan kiya ke, Umar ne Nabi Kareem se arz kiya, Main ne jahiliyat mein ye nazar maani thi ke, Masjid Al-Haram mein ek raat ka itikaf karoon ga. Apne farmaya ke apni nazar puri kar, Women's Etikaf Narrated Amra Aisha said, The Prophet used to practice Etikaf in the last ten days of Ramadan, and I used to pitch a tent for him, and after offering the morning prayer, he used to enter the tent. 
Hafsa asked the permission of Aisha to pitch a tent for her and she allowed her and she pitched her tent. When Zainab bint Jahsh saw it, she pitched another tent. In the morning the Prophet noticed the tents. He said, What is this? She was told of the whole situation. Then the Prophet said, Do you think that they intended to do righteousness by doing this? He therefore abandoned the etikaf in that month and practiced etikaf for ten days in the month of Shavwal. Umrah ne Aisha se bayan kiya ke Nabi Kareem Ramzan ke akhri ashra mein etikaf kiya karte the. Main aap ke liye masjid mein ek khayma laga deti aur aap subah ki namaz paad ke isme chale jate the. फिर हिफ्सा ने भी आयशा से खैमा खड़ा करने की अपने इतिकाफ के लिए इजाजत चाही आयशा ने इजाजत दे दी और उन्होंने एक खैमा खड़ा कर लिया जब जैनब बिंत जहश ने देखा तो उन्होंने भी अपने लिए एक खैमा खड़ा कर लिया सुबह हुई तो रसूलुल्लाह ने कई खैमे देखे तो फरमाया ये क्या है आपको उनकी हकीकत की खबर दी गई आपने फरमाया क्या तुम समझते हो ये खैमे सवाब की नीयत से खड़े किए गए हैं बस अपने इस महीना का इतिकाफ छोड़ दिया और शवाल के अशरा का इतिकाफ किया टेंट्स इन मॉस्क नैरेटेड ऐशा द प्रॉफिट इंटेंडेड टू प्रैक्टिस एतिकाफ एंड वेन ही रीच द प्लेस वेयर ही इंटेंडेड टू परफॉर्म एतिकाफ ही सॉ सम टेंट्स द टेंट्स ऑफ ऐशा हफ्सा एंड जैनब सो ही सेड डू यू कंसिडर दैट दे इंटेंडेड टू डू राइटियसनेस बाई डूइंग दिस and then he went away and did not perform etikaf but performed it in the month of shawwal for 10 days um al mu'minin hazrat aisha siddiqa ne kaha ke nabi kareem ne etikaf ka irada kiya jab aap is jagah tashreef laaye jahan apne etikaf ka irada kiya tha to wahan kai khaime maujood the aisha bhi hifsa ka bhi aur zainab razi allah anha ka bhi इस पर अपने फरमाया कि या तुम ये समझते हो कि उन्होंने सवाब की नियत से ऐसा किया है फिर आप वापस तशरीफ ले गए और इतिकाफ नहीं किया बल्कि शवाल के अशरा में इतिकाफ किया मुताकिफ गोइंग टू द गेट ऑफ द मॉस्क नैरेटेड अली बिन अल हुसैन साफिया द वाइफ ऑफ द प्रॉफिट टोल्ड मी दैट शी वेंट टू अलास मैसेंजर टू विजिट हिम इन द मॉस्क वाइल ही वॉज इन एतिकाफ इन द लास्ट टेन डेज ऑफ रामदान She had a talk with him for a while then she got up in order to return home The prophet accompanied her When they reached the gate of the mosque opposite the door of Am Salma two Ansari men were passing by and they greeted Allah's apostle He told them do not run away and said she is my wife Safia bint Hui Both of them said Subhan Allah O Allah's messenger and they felt it The prophet said to them Satan reaches everywhere in the human body as blood reaches in it I was afraid lest Satan might insert an evil thought in your minds Nabi Kareem ki paak biwi Hazrat Safia ne khabar di ke wo Ramzan ke akhri ashra mein jab Rasulullah itikaf mein baithe hue the ab se milne masjid mein aaye thodi der tak baatein ki phir wapas hone ke liye khadi hui Nabi Kareem bhi unhe pahunchane ke liye khade hue जब वो उम सल्लमा के दरवाजे से करीब वाले मस्जिद के दरवाजे पर पहुंची तो दो अंसारी आदमी उधर से गुजरे और नबी करीम को सलाम किया अपने फरमाया किसी सोच की जरूरत नहीं ये तो मेरी बीवी सफिया बिंत है इन दोनों सहाबियों ने अर्ज किया सुबहान अल्लाह या रसूल अल्लाह उन पर आपका जुमला बड़ा शाक गुजरा अपने फरमाया के शैतान खून की तरह इंसान के बदन में दौड़ता रहता है मुझे खतरा हुआ कि कहीं तुम्हारे दिलों में वो कोई बदगुमानी ना डाल दे